<laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. We are live. I'm skipping the song today because this is going to be a short one. You know, we're just going to do a follow up here on Four Token. They yep. had a successful pink sale launch. Pink sale was sold out, 100 BNB sold. Mm -hmm. Amazing job. Um, then Pink Thank Sale you. kind of uh, sold their fees right away, which they didn't. Mm -hmm. They need their money, you know. That's what Pink Sale does. But you guys recovered nicely, and you're actually up. So we're talking about a token that's actually up from their pre-sale price, which is good to see because yeah. you're sick and tired of things going down and then you know making up stuff. Yeah, it was it was an interesting launch too. Uh, but yeah, we we hit that hundred uh, BNB hard cap, which was awesome. And um and we we came out swinging um yeah I've been goaded uh yeah it, like what happened was when people started claiming because people were like really really excited about claiming and so as soon as Lucky said you can claim uh, from Pink Sale you know 50, 60 people instantaneously it seems claimed all at once um, oh, I saw it. I was in the Discord just like watching it and then all of a sudden yeah. they're like wait I lost tokens and I'm like yeah. uh oh did yep. Pink Sale mess up because and then I'm glad that uh, Cyril came in and was like, yeah, Pink Sale used another wallet that wasn't whitelisted, yeah. which is stupid. It's they excellent. do whatever they want yeah. sometimes. You could tell them what to do, but they don't, they yeah. don't follow the rules. Thanks. Yeah, thankfully Cyril was there watching because usually like a dev, a real dev, not like what Prado talks about being a dev, but like a real dev, usually they, they'll create the token for you. And as soon as they create the token, their job has ended. Like they, that was they, such they, a good burn. I'm sorry. I have to give you props on that one. Okay, back to the back to the real thing we're talking about here. Okay, uh, don't but, get me started on that topic. <laughs> uh, but anyways, like usually, like when a dev makes a token for you, as soon as they give you ownership of that token, their job is done. They're they're not you know, the unless out of the kindness of their heart, they want to answer questions for you or whatever afterwards. Uh, but Cyril has been just there for us with everything. Like he's answered questions in the discord. He was watching at the launch. I don't even know why he wasn't even supposed to. We launched earlier than scheduled. He was just there, I guess, on a whim, just like checking out how it was going. And he saw it right away. He saw that people were getting uh, charged a transfer tax. That's Cyril right there. And look at that. Um, he's first in the comments. Yep, yep. He's just everywhere. He's like, I swear, he's like Batman. Yeah, me and him were going back and forth today in a certain. Yeah, I saw that. Right? I saw. <laughs> he was in a rare mood. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, he was there. He saw it right away. The people started getting charged a transfer tax as they were claiming. What's up, Yanni? And so immediately, Cyril started uh, messaging us, the team, in our group chat, saying, uh, "You need to." you know, exempt this or something. He knew what to do and he told Lucky what to do. Lucky yeah. was able to fix it. So people stopped getting charged at transfer taxes they were claiming, but there were still like 50 or 60 people that were affected. And uh, so we had them just open up tickets in the discord. And if they could uh, give us just the transaction. And if you're watching this live after um, I'm going to have the link for the one token discord, go pop in, see what it's all about. Make your informed decision and check out the whole ecosystem of one token, two token, three token, and now four token. Yeah, that's right. So, anyways, um, the, the we had everybody just open up tickets with their like transaction hash in there of the transfer tax they paid, and literally within like three hours, Lucky had gone through every single one of those tickets and reimbursed everyone. Their yeah, Lucky's tickets. a machine, man. He is. Yeah, when he, he gets is. on, yeah, <laughs> when he gets on his high horse about something, man. He's in my comments. Uh, my dms constantly i'm like Lucky, <laughs> leave me alone you're a detroit lions fan i don't want to talk to you cyril like being a minute behind he says i'm a little behind man, oh, man. cyril you are so on the ball when i'm behind i'm like geez like a day behind <laughs> he's like a minute but uh yeah so so we we got that squared away and then after that the the contract has been just working perfectly there's a bug flying around man that's why i keep swatting it has um, been working perfectly yeah. um bnb is going directly in the wallets people don't have to do transactions to get their bnb which is nice you know like yeah. I'm, it's I'm all automatic just if you have a thousand that's the greatest part it's automatic goes in their wallet and uh i see some people in your discord cuz you know i lurk everywhere i'm everywhere uh, they want to like turn it into something where maybe they can stake and reinvest the BNB and get more and turn it into something. Yeah, so you've got a good community that seems to like what's going on and wants to 
take that yeah. BNB and rebuy in. And I know you guys have plans to buy back in with all your um what bot are you guys on? What's the name of the bot? Uh, uh the Prisma bot? Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is there a special name or do you just call it the Prisma bot? Uh I think it's called the Ray bot. Ray bot. They, that's that's okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have plans to do things, which is great um on top of things. And the price yeah. has gone up and you guys had I saw like 12k in volume the first day. That was the first day. I think we had like 20k in volume. It was pretty yeah, like 20, 20k in volume on the first day. Yeah, like it was literally because I think because of the transfer tax, we literally got like, or no, actually, you know what? It was probably uh, pink sale selling because we had 6,000 volume instantaneously. So, yeah, that was 6k was pink sale. But if you got up to yeah. that, means 15, probably 15k was natural volume. That's really good, and that yeah. drove the price up because. Pink sale it went. I don't know why they wait. Why they don't wait to sell a little bit? Yeah, hey, why got, they, why, I guess why they it? can't risk it because what if it tanks right away? They got to get their money, but it just it's just a and nasty it's, way of yeah. And it's and it's weird that they got uh, tokens rather than BNB, but I guess they can't take anything until we form the LP. I don't know. That is interesting. Yeah, why didn't they? I have no clue. I've never listed something on pink sale, so I wouldn't know um, how it's done with them, but that was them. It was confirmed and, you know, cause it doesn't make sense for, uh, but look at Cyril's comment there. <laughs> yeah. He goes, if you have to interact with a contract to initialize dividends, then it's just a shoddy contract. That's exactly what happens when you don't use a dev like Cyril to optimize a contract. And I've made videos on this, and this is why I like the ecosystem you guys have. You're not just putting together like, yeah, you have four tokens. And I know people have smashed you guys. Oh, look, another token. Look what they're doing. Four tokens and stuff. But yeah, none of them are V2, V3s. These are just something that's going into your ecosystem. You know, we're not on, we're not putting shoddy contracts out here on a V3, you know? Sorry. Every, everything's V1. <laughs> so... And Cyril um, answered a question. Pink sale gets 2% tokens and 2% of the BNB. So that, that makes sense. So they get it on both ends. So they're not just taking from one side because yeah. then it would uh, hurt the LP more if they just took from the one side. So that that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they charge all projects that do a pink sale. He says, yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. And yep. They charge you uh 0. 0.5, 0. 0.41 BNB to make a token on their token builder. Just in case anybody wants to just turn into their own dev. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. They they Sorry. have great great token templates too as we've uh, as we've all seen. They just they work. Yeah, wonderful. so the way those token builders work for anybody who doesn't know is you plug in your parameters, it finds a token similar to yours and just copies the bytecode. So essentially you are a fork of a crappy token. That's exactly what happens whether you mean to fork it or not. That's how it happens. Um, Cyril says, I just wish I'd been able to code one token too. The way the other guys coded the tax caused problems with the two launch. Yeah, I wish you were around back then. I wish uh, Oliver knew you back then. And Oliver didn't even tell me about his one token launch. So I was like taken by surprise. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, he really stealth launched when he it was. Met, yeah, so that was like. Sister didn't know. Nobody knew. No, that was. I took that stealth word really seriously. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was part, you, I was part of like, a telegram. Hey, you know, huh? The reason Greek is saying that is because I was literally part of a, a YouTuber telegram group with him and all the other Seifu YouTubers. And we would we would talk daily in there. And I didn't mention it to any of them. <laughs> yeah. He didn't mention anything. All of a sudden, I get a Discord invite. And I'm like, one token. Oh, cool. Well, whose token is this? I asked the question. I think it was t who sent me the invite. And he goes, Oliver created a token. I go, cool. I'll talk to Oliver in my Telegram group. By the time I got around to even asking about it, somebody's like, oh, one token's pumping. I go, what are you talking about? I just got invited to the Discord this morning. There's no way it's out right now. And then, then I ask you about it. And you're like, oh, yeah, we just launched it this morning. You know, I'm like, cool. Thanks. Oh, yeah. You know, in, in honestly, if Cyril had been the dev or my partner or anything like that, it would have been launched a little better because what happened was uh, <laughs> snooze, you lose, as Cyril says. Um, 
And he says, I, Cyril says, I was around, but it was before Oliver knew me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I learned about Cyril a little later. But, anyways, um, what, what Keith did, because he's the one that, that took care of getting one token developed. And to his credit, he had real developers develop it. To, to his credit, he actually had some people really develop this token. Um, but he didn't tell me when he was going to launch it. And, uh, and he bought a ton of tokens. His son and a bunch of other of his friends bought a bunch of tokens before me. I was his partner. But he told me literally 10 minutes before he launched the token, hey, buy your tokens now. So it was it was a real shit show, but it worked but out. Guess what? It brought us to here and for token. Yes. So um yes. <laughs> so what big plans do you guys have now that you're launched, now that you've got things going on? Any big plans? Anything? My my team is telling me to stop talking about I know uh, I saw the comments, so I was like, okay, how do we turn this into so that's why well, let's talk about four here. The go. Yes. Yes. So anyways, um, four token, it's working perfectly. Uh, Cyril, uh, uh, just wrote this contract beautifully. It's, it's been working flawlessly, um, paying out BNB rewards. We've paid out like 17.5 BNB so far, I think. And we're on, you know, day three or four now. Cause we launched on Friday. I think we, yeah, we launched Friday afternoon. So yeah. Um, or Friday, probably or late morning. Cause I did an AMA. I did like a live at noon to talk about the launch. But anyways, yeah, we've, we've paid out a whole bunch of BNB. Um, and someone was asking in the Discord today uh, how, how exactly the rewards are sent out, like what the threshold is and when what the schedule is. The threshold is every time the contract collects 0.2% uh, of the LP depth in tokens. So the math is right now the LP is 70,000. Um, 2.2% of that would be 140 bucks. So the contract is collecting 14% of all buys and sells. As soon as it has collected $140 worth of four tokens, it triggers a swap to BNB. And then when the next two hour period rolls around, it sends out those rewards. So it has a switch. So if it triggers, it waits two hours automatically. Yeah, unless like the two hour period is closer. I'm not exactly sure, but it is like on a two hour schedule. Yeah, that's a good thing because you don't want it triggering back to back back because that is a sell into the chart. So it's kind yeah, of and and every time it does a sell, Cyril has has written it has has uh, designed it to never affect the price more than 0.4 percent. So four tenths of a percent. Very very good, and you don't like we said you don't have to do a transaction or anything. You just sit there. It's truly hold and get paid, which is what. Yeah. These reflectionary models are supposed to do not. You have to interact, yeah. do things, claim, and, you know. Yeah. Um, and and there was another there was another little thing that happened in the Discord right before uh, this live, maybe an hour ago. People were wondering why they hadn't gotten paid rewards when there was a a, a, a distribution of BNB uh, at about one thirty today, and people were saying I didn't get my rewards. Cyril explained it to us that the contract has a set amount of gas for each uh disbursement of rewards and if the uh because of congestion and because gas goes up and down if the gas is expensive and it takes up all the gas for that transaction or for that disbursement of rewards then some of those rewards won't get sent out that that rewards uh disbursement it'll be the next one so just that's, wait two hours and you'll get your rewards like in two hours or, or the next time yeah, so it's, it, it's just gas must have been high this afternoon. Maybe there was congestion or something. Um, but there's a – and I asked Cyril, like, if there's, like, a set limit on how much gas will be used every time rewards are sent out. And he said it's it's set very low. Yeah, so rewards are sent in patches. Gas is capped to prevent gas from soaking up the rewards. It's a good thing for you. You don't want that. You know, you work hard for these rewards. You know, you're paying the tax, and you want the rewards. So that's a good thing. Um and it's great that the contract is optimized and it's not putting the cost on you, the end user, because some others, you know, where you have to interact, do things, you're eating the cost yeah. on a non-optimized contract. Could you imagine having to do a transaction and then gas not being optimized? You're paying 50, 60 cents, you know, yeah. Yeah. to trigger would, it. And and plus you're getting BNB, which everybody loves BNB. It's the, I don't know, it's like the third most valued crypto out there, I think. Um, you know, you're not, 
I don't know. It's it's just you, you're not getting a token Good thing too because yeah. all you token hold all the token holders are in this space. You know they're they're wanting to be in the BSC chain. They want to invest in things, and if this is a way to earn something that they use on a daily bet. Do you know how many times since I've I do things and I need gas and I'm like I don't have BNB and it pisses me off because now I'm on so many different things. Yeah. Yeah, and it pisses me off asking for BNB. This would just be a way you never have to ask again. You know, it's constantly coming yeah. in. That's yep, a good. Thing. Yep. Yep. You just fall asleep. You wake up, and you got more BNB all of a sudden. So Mike had chili for dinner. So gas is high right now. Yeah. Well. So um, he's he doesn't have a problem with gas. <laughs> so, so if you run out of gas, just wait till the next payout. Yeah. Patience, people. You're still going to get it, which is a good thing. You know, the contract keeps track. It's Cur um, it yeah. Currently, where the price is at, because um, we have we have a bunch of bots. If you go in our Discord, you'll see a bot that that shows you how much BNB has been paid out to date, which is cool. And then there's a threshold bot, which tells you um, how many tokens have been accumulated by the contract. And right now, the threshold is like 2,900 tokens. So, like, let me look it up right now to see how many. Uh, tokens are in the threshold and it'll tell you pretty much exactly when the next rewards will come out so right now it's got 700 tokens in the threshold as soon as that number gets up to like 2900 tokens it will trigger a swap to bnb and then it'll send out those rewards shortly after so 2900 is the threat oh yeah man. right now because of where the price is at the price is at like 4.8 cents and so to get to 140 dollars but that'll change as the as the lp increases as the price increases but uh yeah right now and i think cyril has said it so that it's i mean 0.2 percent of the lp you know even if the lp gets to like a million dollars what would 0.2 percent of that be let's see what that would be oh i did one more to one zero too many yeah, so it sells at 0.2% of the LP depth, so 2x price impact since that's half the LP size. And It'd be, be $2,000. Yeah. $2,000, and it would still not affect the price very much. If we had a million LP, then... Oh, uh, yeah, it's in yeah. ratio, so yeah, it's, that wouldn't really affect it much. It's good to see that things are working out here. You're close to like 17% up, I think, on pink sale price. That's just my rough yeah. estimations. That's good. Yep, yep. We we were up like uh, about forty five percent, I think, on day one. It, it dipped down because of pink sales sell, and I don't know if people were like panic selling or not. But we got down to like three and a half cents, and then it shot up to like five. .7. You guys did launch, and I think you were doing your AMA, and then Bitcoin did like a flash crash. Like we're talking six thousand dollars in an hour. Yeah, for <laughs> no apparent reason, and. You know, and then you had pink sale, and then that happened, and then after that, you guys just took off. You went up. Yeah. So I don't know if it was panic, and a lot of people just assume the worst when they see a big sell at first. They're like, "Uh oh, what's happening?" But then when yeah. you realize it's pink sale, and then you looked after it, and there was only like six transactions after I think I looked, so it wasn't a bunch of transactions where you're like, "Oh, this is a this is a sell off." No, it, yeah. And then all yeah. of a sudden, people are like. Boom. And then I think once the once the rewards from that first sell happened, that's when people are like, oh, crap. Boom. And then, you know, 17.78 yeah. BNB is nothing. To, I see you got that bot. I'm glad you shared the bot. So if you're in my Discord, you can see four token price. Um, yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's also a bot in the Discord um, that shows for buys of four token. And also it shows whenever BNB is sent out. There's a bot that for, for the BNB disbursement. So... We got all kinds of bots in the Discord. Yeah, and they got a bot me. for the bot. Yeah. To let you know when the bot is about the bot. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know people with all these bots, man. When I sit on my Discord, it's not easy. It's like, it's crazy. Just We we got CK for that. CK is awesome. CK does great work. Yeah, and I always does. ask, make your stuff shareable so I can steal it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he always ends up doing it. He's a uh, good guy. Another cool thing, I don't know if it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday at some point. We were number we were trending number 29 on Deck Screener. So that was pretty cool. Glad um, you brought that up. You guys were trending. Yeah. 
and and also we updated our deck screener so it has the logo it has a banner it has our info it has all our links and stuff like website and stuff so we got that taken care of um oh that that's that reminds me lucky it asked me to to do some stuff on coin market cap try and get our info on there or somewhere i think it was coin market cap could it be coin gecko as well yeah yeah um, those, those two are um i think uh trust wallet reads coin market cap and yeah coin gecko is what metamask reads MetaMask. so that's how your price gets shown yep yep yanni boy well, says coin gecko and it's me fixed decimal oh yeah oh yeah yeah you See probably that. know what that means i don't know yeah what it's 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 super annoying. We paid someone to get us on CoinGecko and they put the wrong freaking decimal. So if you have MetaMask and one token in your MetaMask wallet, it shows you have like a, a hell of a lot more tokens than you should. Like, oh, okay. like you can have like a thousand one tokens and it'll show that you have like a million because the decimal's in the wrong spot. So, well, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, you know, hey, we only paid him 1600 bucks. So I, you know, I don't blame him for oh, doing a really crappy honey. job pennies you know it's crazy in crypto like things just cost more you know it's like to do simple things and they just it's crazy unless, people unless you use cyril don't don't tell him i said that <laughs> cyril you're doing an excellent job oh man dad's out there we, doing half jobs lol we, Cyril just keeps on helping too. He's 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 always there if you ping him. He's there to answer questions and stuff. I mean, oh, it, he's it just he's, he's really amazing. good. I told you he's we're respected in the space. You the, uh, that prior to another thing, another thing with 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 our token. Uh, he said I'm half dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't turn it up, or uh, he can't do um uh, he can't do the 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 text scanning on this whatever. Uh, subtitles um but um if people whenever they try to buy a uh, four token on uh, pancake swap they were wondering what their slippage needs to be at because there is a 14 percent tax on buys and sells and they were like i heard people saying like they need to put like 15 percent slippage or something like that if you just use the simple trick of just deleting everything after the decimal in the number of four tokens you are buying you can literally use point uh point one percent slippage and it works so just delete everything after the decimal. Yeah. Um, they don't like decimals. It takes a lot more to figure out the gas and the slippage. It's it's messy. So if you do whole numbers, it's a lot better. I'm glad yeah. you said that because that's a good point. Yep, yep, yep. I just uh I tried it and it worked fine for me. So yeah. Yeah, but you're the pro. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, well, you know, one thing I was thinking of doing, and I learned this from you, and I'm not going to lie, I heard it uh, listening to Prado, is shorts get you a lot more subscribers. And so I was thinking, since my subscriber numbers just don't go up, just to get more attention, I might start doing shorts instead of like regular videos. Yeah, they do help with subscribers, but they don't help with subscribers that care about your content. Mm. If you get what I mean. Like, so. Like, yeah, I gained a ton. I was doing those shorts of different things. None of them watch my crypto content. They don't even know. They just love the shorts. Like, I gained eight, I would gain 80 subscribers on a short. And I. Yeah. So, what is it like? Just like Henlo people, like marketers? <laughs> Cyril is saying he uses Trust Wallet still. Don't call him pro until he switches to MetaMask. Cyril, you know my, you know how I tried to use Trust Wallet. How many times have I bashed Trust Wallet in front of you? I mean, I I just love it. I, the The only thing is, it it doesn't work at all for DAP for like apps or DAPs or it like it's completely I just useless. Don't like it's so easy to use MetaMask. I just enjoy MetaMask, and that you know, with my Keystone integration, I just love MetaMask because it's easy I for tried me to it. put things on my cold wallet, transfer between my stuff. Trust I, Wallet. I, you know, it's it's you you really gotta just love it. So I, I mean, I don't. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. You know, Everybody's me, got their own wishes. You know, Every, their own. Uh, at this point, it's nostalgia. I just I've been using Trust Wallet from the beginning. You know, <clears throat> it's still the one. But uh, yeah, I I tried using MetaMask and and Cyril even tried to <laughs> he tried to help me use MetaMask and I encountered a problem that even he had never encountered. And he's like, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> so. I don't know. 
I'll I'll have to look uh, at it again. It, it, one of these days, it. you at least do you have a cold wallet at least? No, no, I just trust my trust wallet. <laughs> it's those damn iPhones. It might be. I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't put it in me because I work with tru truckers. Like if the name says trust, it makes me not want to trust it. Like on time trucking, they're never on time. Like I just, it's the opposite of what the name says. So yeah. we'll get you on a cold wallet eventually. You know, we'll uh, so I'll say Perfect. that's why there's a gnosis safe for the protocol. As long as you got a gnosis safe for the protocol, you're good, and you got. I, I'm sure you got good people on there with you. That's fine. You can take risks with your stuff, but with the customer funds, yeah, yeah. you got it protected. This is good. absolutely. I knew. I knew you guys had that. Oh I yeah. Just yeah. My, my trust wallet just holds my crap. It doesn't have anything to do with the contract or or the tokens. <laughs> it just holds your. Yeah. So if you lose out, only you lose out. Yes. Yes. Unlike the mysterious hack that some. Yeah. Now, and you know, and and as crappy as Trust Wallet is, I've never had any of my wallets hacked. I've never had any issues at all with any of my wallets. So you know, I feel really bad for for people who have had you know wallet hacks and lost you know. Do their, not click on mysterious LPs. links. Yeah. Do not trust anybody. If Oliver DMs you, it's not Oliver. I am. I mean. If I DM you, I probably said like, "Hey, I'm gonna DM you in Discord," and then I did it right away. That's what I always say: initiate the conversation in yeah. the room and then bring it to. Yeah, but uh, and 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 we've had Cyril has been our dev since Two Token. He made two, three, and four for us. Um, but we had other people who who made one token, and mysteriously they never ran away with the LP. Like that, that was like wow. But it might also be because they have no access to the contract, which is another thing. If your dev has access to your – these things. That's major red flag for anybody <laughs> that somehow somebody keeps getting investments with that red flag. So Yeah. Anyways, um, Cyril said, Oliver, I have a confession to make about a DM I've had with a guy. <laughs> he DM'd me first. Yes, I do DM people first, but I'll usually be like, hey, I'm going to DM you in Discord. Yanni's yelling at you again. You're a bad boy. Our one, two, three, and four token all linked to the Prisma bot. If the eventual Prisma two token goes up, does it affect the one token collective? Okay, our one, two, three, and four all linked to the Prisma bot. If the eventual Prisma two token goes up, does it affect the one? Um, it's okay. So Gibson, that's a good question. Um, the, the Prisma bot is benefiting. What's up pride. I have an AMA with him on Wednesday. Um, so it's benefiting us in that it is raising funds, which will benefit the treasury, uh, immensely. Um, when it starts doing its payouts, uh, in a little under two years in like a year and five months or a year and seven months, I think. Um, it's going to start doing payouts once yearly and, uh, it's going to pay out to the Prisma one NFTs. And we have a lot of those NFTs in the treasury. So that is going to bring a lot of money into our treasury, which we can then pump the tokens with. And the way that the, uh, Prisma V2 token is going to benefit us is that Prisma is creating vaults, which, uh, with these vaults, the way that they work is, uh, Prisma token is a, uh, it's a staking token. And it's that kind of staking where you where it's not locked. Um, I forget what that's called. I keep forgetting what that's called. I think it's liquid you, staking. Yeah, liquid staking. Your tokens aren't locked. You can still sell them, but if you sell them, you don't get the rewards for that month. But um, if you place your Prisma tokens in a certain vault, then you get paid out your rewards in whatever that vault is. Like there's going to be a BNB vault and a Bitcoin vault. There's going to be a one token vault and a three and a four token vault. So people who are putting their Prisma tokens like in the four token vault, it's going to be giving us buy pressure every month, like just strictly buy pressure because uh, the Prisma bot is making, uh, it trades Ethereum and then it tra it converts the, the uh, earnings to like USDC, I think. And then it pays out those rewards to, to people in USDC unless they have their money in a vault. So perfect. Barry's just trying to break my concentration. 
Yeah, we we own three percent of Prisma. We own uh, I think three percent of Prosperity Truth Coalition as well. So those are both passive uh, passive rewards tokens. And Oliver uh, Barry, sorry, Barry wants to know how is Oliver so handsome? Barry always has to make his just appearance on the lives with something. He, he changed his name in our Discord. I don't think people know that. What's his new name? <laughs> it's um someone named Jack Mihoff. <laughs> I don't know who this person is, but oh, that would be a Barry name. Sorry. <laughs> oh man, Barry, you are something else. Yeah, he man. he loves him some four token though. He's the one that came up with the name Goat. So I like it, and I love <laughs> the artwork you guys have had, especially this background. I like this one. I've seen another Thank one you. today. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Last name Mihoff for name first name Jack. <clears throat> oh, Jack Hoffman? Okay. <laughs> that oh, man. Barry, Barry, Barry. So what is the immediate future plans for four going forward? So we're just uh we're gonna be marketing. Um, to, I'm gonna be doing more AMAs than I probably have the uh the capacity for. I'm just going to be like by Friday, I'm going to be completely burnt out and have no voice. And it's going to be that one's going to be a really good one to tune into. Um, but I'm going to be just doing a ton of AMAs. I'm going to be putting out videos probably daily. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to be pushing it. And um, we've got some money for marketing. So maybe James Pelton is in our future. I mean, I, eventually he will be eventually and uh cyril cyril happens to know him i mean it's like buddy buddy with james pelton so you know he he's gonna hook us up i think you so. hear that cyril you better hook him up okay um yeah just keep the tweets rolling you got a good community community that backs you you don't seem to ever have stagnant um discord where like you go hours and hours without people just saying stuff which is good yeah you know? yeah just keep tweeting. I'll keep doing my thing. I'm I'm a fan of your community. You guys do the right thank thing all the time. Thank you. Know, thank you. Anytime I, I, you ask me, like we had to do this, we rushed this. Oliver asked me, was it yesterday at seven o'clock? If I yeah, was, was willing night. to yeah. do an AMA this this upcoming week, you said, and I'm like, yes, it has to be today because I'm flying out for my cousin's wedding to uh, Austin, Texas, so I will be out of town. Um, yeah. Yep. I want to be a whale. I want to be a whale in everything. So, so there's a competition going on now that I completely forgot to mention. Um, we have we're having a buy competition this month called the uh, Want to Be a Whale competition, and uh, this was uh, Lucky's idea. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> that would be Yanni. He's my teammate, so he's here to remind me to stay on sub, to stay on point. Um, I'm yelling at you. Barry, Barry is saying how many for to be a whale? I don't know, probably like 10,000, maybe 12,000, because that's the first place prize is 12,000 uh, four tokens. So maybe that's what it takes to be a whale. Um, so anyways, uh, yes, Cyril is pointing out Pelton knows him. Not that he, anyways, I keep getting distracted by the messages here. So I'm just putting my hand over that. Um, yeah, we're having a buy competition this month and to get one entry into the buy competition, you just have to buy a thousand four tokens, um, which right now would cost like sixty eight dollars. Oh, 48, plus a fourteen percent tax. Plus fourteen percent, yeah. Yeah, it's probably like sixty bucks. And the thing is, like, when you, when you, yeah, when you buy a thousand tokens, you'll get eight hundred sixty tokens. But that that's still an entry. You don't have to like receive a thousand tokens in your wallet. You just have to buy a thousand tokens. We will see that on Dex Screener because Dex Screener will show that a thousand tokens were purchased. That's an entry. That's a good, um, good point because like a lot of people would be like putting it in. So just make sure you put a thousand on the buy, and then you're good. Yeah. Whatever. And if you and if you buy two thousand, that's two entries. Three thousand, three entries. So and so. You can have as many entries. Are you going to do a want. live drawing when this is done, or how you? No, uh, Lucky and Yanni go go over the um, the chart, the taxations, and and they count up the entries from all the different people, and then they uh, they pick them out randomly. 
So lucky and Yanni handle that. <clears throat> and then they announce the winners and send out the rewards to everybody. Um, and another thing, it's not a buy and hold competition. It is just a buy competition. You are free to sell those tokens immediately if you want to. Um, so, cause volume is what we want. So buying, selling volume, we don't care, you know, do whatever you want. So if you want to try and like game that. the system by buying and selling and buying and selling, feel free. <laughs> I like that. Cause you know, you don't want to do these competitions where you feel like you're trapping people in like, you know, <laughs> you want people to be able to sell and here with the tax and, you know, you're holding for BNB rewards. That volume is good. Yes. And Yanni is saying. You need to buy a thousand tokens to have an entry. If you bought since the competition is open, uh, oh Barry is asking. I already have forty three thousand tokens, so am I entered? Barry, you had to buy since the beginning of the competition, which I believe was yesterday. I think we started yesterday. Uh, can we get a men of crypto calendar? Greek can be. <laughs> I didn't. I should. Re I need to screen his comments before I even bring them up on screen. And Cyril says he'll be October. <laughs> nice cyril did you see my video by the way i was singing your song if you watch my video four token is going the distance i sing is that the one i was first on yeah in the comments yeah, yeah, yeah. i couldn't believe you could sing it was shocked me thank you i was that's... i was shocked because I, I can't do anything right so. <laughs> i mean and that's and that's a song that cyril wrote like that, that song could be like a hit on like the country radio stations you know it's a good song a man of many talents Yes. So you got the buy competition going on now. So if you're watching this after this live, go check out their Discord. It will be in the link down below. Buy some one, buy some four token, buy some one while you're at it, two and two and three. You know, yeah. show your love for the whole ecosystem. They all work together, and uh, the future is bright. You know, especially with um, this event we got coming up on Saturday. Um, should be Saturday, 1130. It depends on how the blocks go, the Bitcoin having. Um, so things are going to get very interesting here for crypto. Yep. So, yep. Looking forward a, to it. And it's Gibson, a good time to be alive in the crypto sphere. Absolutely. And Gibson is asking if you buy a thousand tokens, you're automatically entered. Yes, Gibson, for the next month until May 17th. Every thousand token buy is an entry into the competition. So that's good too. So you don't have to go on some app and fill out stuff and also another thing you don't even have to be in our discord to win the competition you could just buy a thousand tokens and not even know there's a buy competition going on if we pick you randomly we just send out the tokens to your wallet so you could all of a sudden have twelve thousand tokens show up in your wallet and be like whoa what happened and you're the winner so so cyril says the entries are auto counted yanni does a great job keeping track of it all he showed me a spreadsheet Yep. I'm I'm the lazy one on the team. I don't do anything. I just do Oliver's these. like, just give me the results and I'll do the talk. <laughs> they 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 do all the hard work. Like li literally lucky when he had to go through those 50 or 60 tickets to pay people back. Like it's not like it's not like I'm the busy one on the team either, because Lucky's the one that has kids and like that that he's with all the time. Like I have a baby that's taken care of by my wife. I have a, all the free time in the world, and yet Lucky is the one doing he, he said when he paid all those people back, he was doing it with his left hand because he was holding his son with his right arm. And he's like, I'm right-handed. <laughs> and you admit to this stuff. Look at you. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, oh, man. Let me see. There's a uh, – and, and uh, honestly, Greek, I was expecting this to be like a short AMA, so I appreciate you spending some more time with us. Yeah, I got I to gotta get packing and stuff, but it's all good. It's all good, man. I appreciate You're the it. one who said short. I didn't have the time – limit on it i mean yeah it's, we just we just have a good time um and then maga warzone who goes by blacksmith in our discord he said put it on apple music as a solo single or album so cyril is putting his album out um he said it's live everywhere april 29th so in a couple weeks perfect oh and uh, <laughs> yanni is telling us what the second and third prizes are because i forgot to mention that there's three prizes in this competition First prize is 12,000, four tokens. <laughs> Second prize is 6,000. And third prize is 2,000. So you could be one of three winners if you so buy a thousand. Do you feel lucky? Yes. 
either way, you're a winner. You know, you get BNB rewards if for buying a thousand tokens, and you have a chance to win. So, you know, you're a winner. Either way. <laughs> I love how Yanni says no to people. He's like, no. <laughs> Barry's like, can we have a progressive tax system or something like that? And Yoni's like, no. <laughs> yeah, the pro- progressive tax competition where the more you buy, the less tax. <laughs> that would be so hard to set up. Like you would have thresholds, and if you're over a threat, it's so that would be so hard. <laughs> I I wouldn't. It's not a program. Yeah, but this- basically, that's everything you got going on with four right now at this moment other than your meeting with Crypto Pride on Wednesday. So I'm yep. sure you're going to have more stuff to deal with on Wednesday. And, and I have an AMA with Paul Dutton on Friday. So <laughs> Paul Dutton on Friday. Yep. So you're just making all the rounds, man. You're just doing everything. I'm going to be so burnt out. I'm just going to sleep all weekend. No, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to play Fortnite all weekend. That's how I They're reach fun, though. AMAs are fun when you're the CEO of a token. You know, it's like kind yeah. of stuff you got to do. They well they they like with you it's a lot of fun with pride it's a lot it's a heck of a lot of fun um with uh, I've never talked to Paul Dutton before um who else have I done AMAs with uh, Serenity was a fun AMA um for some reason when I talk to Mad Hatter I'm so nervous I don't know why the guy just like I don't those know. guys are intimidating I did an AMA with them but and they were grilling me more on Brian Legend stuff but that's you know here or there yeah. but they they are like that kind of community, like where they're almost like trying to like, it, 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 it out, you know? Yeah. He's so nice, but he does not leave any stone unturned. And they're extremely questions. nice. I will give them that. They're very respectful with every way they ask questions, but I, yeah. I get your point. Not everybody can be the Greek, you know? Yeah. Hatter is great. Um, but Gibson, on that note, entered the competition. We, Thank you, Gibson. On Thank that you. note, we are going to call it a day. Go out, check out the Discord, check out the whole ecosystem. They got the buy competition going on now. They are up 17% since launch. Everything's running smoothly. You don't have to do anything. You just buy, hold, collect your BNB. 17.58 right now, currently, BNB has been given out since launch. Mm-hmm. Let me get that right 17.78. Sorry, 17.78. Threshold is at 1,022 at 2,900. You guys get rewards. So it is a good time to be in the one token ecosystem and four token is thriving. So it's been amazing. Until next time, peace out. Thank you, Greek.